the performance itself, it's execution. And the idea behind standing in front of an ensemble performing, I remember there's two performances that stand out in my career right now at Kansas State. Uh, when we played at Carnegie Hall a number of years ago, I don't think Eric, you were around yet. Um, we played in Carnegie Hall and we closed with the whole first suite E flat. Now, when you play in Carnegie Hall, first of all, it's one of the most acoustically well-tuned halls in the world. I think it's one of the top three. It's, you can hear organs moving and gurgling. It is just unbelievable. A, a, a major chord in tune resounds for like a day and a half after that. It's just absolutely incredible. I remember that, it, you know, I, I knew it was a good performance. Not that I needed to score, but it was up there for safety reasons. It's Carnegie Hall, you know, first time playing there. At the end of the piece, and I looked out at my score, I was still on page one. But I got through the whole thing because I, I just, it was one of those out of body experiences. And the other one was not on the podium. The other one was at ABA a year ago when we played. You know, we played eight compositions. I conducted one and we had guest conductors conduct the other seven, which is nerve wracking because you're completely out of control. You have no control over anything. Somebody else has your ensemble and they're valuing, evaluating your teaching techniques. That's, that's a scary thing, you know? So I remember sitting backstage and listening to the ensemble going, that's a good ensemble. If I was sitting in the audience, I'm going, that would be a really good ensemble. And that, that really moved me to the point that I thought, this is pretty cool. But while I was on the podium and rehearsing, I didn't hear that. And when I get to the concert, my goal now is to get to that point where I listen to that and I understand it. And there's an old saying, if you want to get gain control over an ensemble, give up control. Mm -hmm. You know, and I stop conducting every downbeat. I don't conduct every downbeat anymore. Sometimes I'll put my right hand down and just leave my left hand out there and we'll move it and let them go. They can't control the pulse and they do it better than I can. There's two reasons for that. Number one, it's musical. They don't need me for the pulse. Number two, I've been doing this for so long. I have had elbow surgery and I need a shoulder replacement. So I only have so many downbeats left in my life and I'm trying to save them. So I just don't do that. But they play better when I stop conducting. And I don't take it personally. I'm a tenured full professor. You can't fire me for not conducting for God's sake. So. There you go. So once I execute that performance, I evaluate after it's over, listen to recordings. And, and, and maybe you can, you can agree with me on this one. I'm evaluating the ensemble while I'm conducting. And the teacher in me never stops. I'm constantly thinking, okay, I got to fix this. This was really good. Bravo. That was much better. Oh, that wasn't as good. Here's what I could do there. I'm constantly thinking of what I can do better. And that's the most important thing there for me is, is keep raising the bar. Uh, the bottom line is when it's all over, you have to enjoy the process because it all begins again and again and again. And it goes on and on and on until it's just, you, you don't do it anymore. In between all that is uh, our challenges, weather, uh, illnesses, pandemics, uh, budget cuts, you name it. it. It's all there, but it's the process of teaching and being prepared. And if I could finish with anything from this presentation, it would be that the more I know about what I'm doing, the more effective I'm going to be. And selfishly, the more I'm going to enjoy it. How many golf? I'm not a good golfer. I wish I could be. It's the only game where you could hit the ball 127 times and you hit it once really far and really well and where you want it to be. That one out of 127 shots makes you come back the next week and pay it all over again to do it again. One out of 127. This is something we're trying to get good at so that we do want to come back and do it again and enjoy it.